Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim with Jupiter Jim's marketing team and before we get started with today's video tutorial, I would like to suggest that you sign up for my email list to get my number one blog secret. It is a free 24 page report. It will give you a free easy way to significantly improve your website SEO, get more quality traffic to your site and get more loyal subscribers. All you have to do is just put your name and best email address right there. Another thing that you'll get by signing up for or subscribing to my email list is you'll get my blog posts and videos directly into your email inbox as soon as I create them. For instance, uh, this is my blog post page and this is my latest blog post. This is what we'll be covering today, how to change font size and family in WordPress. So I'm just gonna click there and so this is the single post per page. So this is the blog post and this is the video um, that I'm creating today. And if you were on my email list, you'd be getting this blog post or would have gotten this blog post directly into your email inbox. Okay, so let's get started. Here's the demonstration site. This is just a demo site I created for a client. Um, all right. And what I'm going to show you today is how to change font size and font family. So let's just say you wanted to change on this page all the text. You wanted to change the font family from whatever this is, say Ariel, to Verdana, Helvetica, Georgia, Courier, what have you. We could do that very easily. What happens if you just have, say, one paragraph and you want to change the font size and the font family? for that one paragraph. I can do that as I'll show you how to do that as well. Now, you cannot easily change font size and font family with a typical WordPress installation. You need a special plugin to do that and that's what I want to introduce you to today. It's the plugin is called, first of all, I'm at WordPress.org and we're under the plugin directory here, okay? The plugin that we want to use is called WP Edit and that was created by a developer named Josh Loeb okay now this plugin only works it will change the font size and font family of the text in a typical WordPress blog post or page but it only works with versions of WordPress 3.9 or higher okay now if you're using an earlier version of WordPress there's another plugin the previous version to this plugin it goes by another name created by the same developer and that plugin is called ultimate tiny MCE okay now that plugin like I said is created by the same developer right here Josh Loeb let's get back to the description um, right here and this will only work for versions 3.5 1 through 3.83 if you have WordPress version 3.9 or later like I said you're going to use the WP edit plugin and that's what I'll be showing you today I have another video already on my YouTube channel and on my blog post at Jupiter Jim's marketing team for this plugin right here and it's pretty much the same thing okay so once again to get our bearings we're back here here's the demo site we're gonna change I'm gonna show you how to change the font size and family for you know a few words a line a sentence of the whole paragraph the whole page so step one is this is Southeast Energy so that's the name of the demo site we're in. We're going to click here and this is the dashboard of the same WordPress website where I've already logged in. Now we're going to go down to plugin and add new and just in the upper right hand corner here I just happen to be using WordPress version 4.0 for this demo so just so you know. We're going to go to WP Edit. Hit enter if you're on a PC. Click return if you're on a Mac. Okay and there's the plugin this is the plugin that we're going to be downloading and using and that was updated about 12 days ago so I'm gonna just click install now and just make sure it's the one by Josh Loeb so we know we're in the right place click install now and then you'll get the little pop-up up here are you sure you want to install the plugin yes sir you are then brought to this screen automatically you're going to click activate plugin here we're at the WP Edit page, okay? The settings page. You're brought here automatically when you activate your plugin. But what if you want to get back here in the future? What you're going to do on this left hand column, just scroll down and you're going to 
just click on where it says WP Edit, and that's how you get to this page. Now at the bottom of the page it says buttons for the pro version. So this is a version where you have to pay some more money to get some more functionality and it's well worth it. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to install the free version. Okay, so let's get started. Here's the button placeholder container. I'm going to grab that and drag it up here. So I'm just going to click here and drag and put it up there and let go. And then it's going to say saving options to database. It's that easy. Now it looks like it's a little crowded and there's not much more room to drag another option, but don't worry about that. So just grab, click and grab font sizes and just drag that up here. And you'll see you'll get that pink box to the left. And that's it. We're done. That's all you need to do. You don't need to click a save button or anything else. But before we move on, I do want to mention once again, you can purchase the pro version by clicking on this button, or you can just add a donation for the free button. Now it's a free country and it's a free plugin. You don't need to donate anything, but if you want to donate $10, or $8 or $5 or even just $1. You have it in your heart, just click on this button and make a donation because I've been using this plugin for years back when it was Ultimate Tiny MCE and now WP Edit. It's updated reg regularly and the person who did the coding for that, Josh Loeb, I think he should be rewarded for just creating this plugin. I'm a professional WordPress website designer and I install this plugin on every website that I create. So anyways, enough of that. So all we got to do is, like I said, there's no save button or anything else. We're done. So now we're going to go back to the page that we want to modify. We're going to go click on the About Us. Now, if you want to change the font family for every, you know, text, all the text on this page, you just click in here somewhere, press the control key plus the A key, A like Apple or A like all if you're on a PC, control A, everything gets highlighted. If you're on a Mac, it's command A. Then you would go up here, change the font family, we'll change it to impact, so it'll be very obvious that there's a change. Click the white area to deselect. And we've just changed the font family for that whole blog post. Doesn't look so good. So I'm just going to go right here and click the undo button. Boom. Click on the white space and you can see we're back to normal. Now what I want to do is just change, say, on one paragraph, this paragraph right here. Just triple click. Now, like I said, you can change the font size or family for just one word, a sentence, or the whole paragraph. I'm just going to click three times fast and that highlights the whole paragraph. I'm going to go to Font Family, Comic Sans, and I'm going to go to Font Size. Let's go with 18. Click here. Let's go 16 for some reason. I'm going to click in the white space to deselect. I'm going to click Update. Then I'm going to go back to the About Us page. You can see that no changes have been made. I'm going to click the Refresh button in my browser. And this is the paragraph that I just changed, or I can just triple click that. Um, we changed the font family, we changed the font size. You can do it for one paragraph, the whole page, whatever you choose. And this plugin gives you the functionality and the option of changing font sizes and families throughout a page. So if you're creating a landing page or a sales page, this plugin is totally invaluable. And that's what I was saying, you know, if you can at least you know, donate a buck via PayPal. That's up to you. Um, that's all there is to it. If you'd please click the like button, click the subscribe button on YouTube, subscribe to my email list at jupiterjamesmarketingteam.com. I'd greatly appreciate it. Share with friends, family, and loved ones. Take care and have a great day.